and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Leona Diana. We're going to be playing two ranked donation decks today uh, and this is going to be our first one. Uh, this deck is, uh, you know, Daybreak and Nightfall together. Looks pretty cool. These are both viewer submitted decks. They built the decks. I did not build these. Uh, this one's from Bouge. Want to give, give them some credit. Um, this one looks pretty cool. You know, like we're going to have... Um, you know, both Leona and Diana, what, what those two champions do, they're not like super powerful champions that are going to be like winning the games on their own, but they control the board really well. And so, you know, like Diana is a good removal type champion with like the quick attack challenger uh, for super cheap. Leona does the stunning. They, they control the board and slow the game down and, and help you, um, you know, again, take control of the board. And so what that, the, the good thing about that is that then you can use Targon's Invoke cards. We got Solari Priestess, Lunari Priestess. D these will create the super powerful things that will help us win the game. We're also going to have some powerful top end cards for that. We're going to have one Field of Rush to make those 10 tens. You know, 10 tens definitely are a lot better than you know two twos and four three fives. But then we're also going to have two Howling Abyss. Howling Abyss will create the random level two champions. So those will really help finish out the game also. So that, th these are going to be like our, you know, quote unquote, win conditions, as, as people like to ask those cards. And then the Priestess making the Invoke cards where the Leona and the Diana will keep us from losing and uh, whittle away resources from the opponent. One Divergent Pass that can be Landmark Removal or Confined Howling Abyss for us. And that looks like that's kind of about the it for the deck. You know, some, some uh, Daybreak cards, some Nightfall cards. And that's what we got. Just looking at it, again... Um, I would kind of prefer to be playing three Robins. I think Robin's very strong. And so maybe a Robin over like a Priestess or, you know, over something else. But we're going to play, you know, I'm playing the deck as is and we'll kind of see how it goes. All right, so let's get to it. Let's play Leona, Diana. We're taking on over to Ranked. We'll play uh, five games over there. All right, we got Darkness Control to start with. Yeah, Flappy Cow asks, are we going to check the new champion? We actually just did. We actually uh, just went through the whole patch 219. Um, looks like a really, really good uh, patch. And, you know, super excited about Path of Champions and everything like that. Um, but, yeah, that's what ac actually we just did record that. I'm currently um, kind of rendering that video of us doing that and going to be uploading it to YouTube here okay. shortly. Um, but if you want to see me go through that, you can re rewind the stream also and check that out. Okay, I'm going to send the Pale Cascade back and keep the rest. I could see sending Leona back, actually. Actually, let's send Leona back. So I want to keep Howling Abyss against Darkness Control. Um, that's number one. And then, you know, I just want, like, an early unit. You know, I want to be able to block, like, if they have the, um, two, you know, the Twisted Catalyzer. I want to make sure we can block that. Um, but, like, Leona stunning, like, they're not really winning by, like, attacking and stuff, right? So, like, the stun, so, like, the stun doesn't really matter as much here. Well? I did say I wanted to see the world. Mother Moon, guide me. <laughs> All right, let's just keep on invoking. Yeah, there's supposed to catalyze her. That card's pretty good. Work the fabric, minions. Work it. Alright, we're gonna take this moon silver so I can moon silver howling abyss and get howling abyss and play next round. So that's good for them now now they have their one cost you know one damage things now kill that that grows this My journey ends. that's just kind of how it is I don't think I'm supposed to sit there and just take three damage but who knows maybe I should just sit there and take three damage until I am no more
So I wonder why they didn't do that just last round. They could have done that at the end of last round and then been able to have an open attack here. I don't know why they didn't do that. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. Sunlight lies. Alright, we're gonna use Leona to just kinda help slow down the bleeding. Lord Vega! Your platform boots are finally ready. <laughs> So we can see though with our deck is we don't really have removal and so like a Vagar is going to be a big problem of just um, you know sitting around increasing the damage to darkness every round like this is this is problematic for sure. Alright, so Brahm's only a 1-7. Alright, Meteor Shower could kill Vagar. It's a good thing you're cute, Vags. Oh man, that's too bad. Hey Joven, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. That's too bad. Good hand opponent. Good hand. Both champions in this call. Fortunately, my Howling Abyss hasn't really helped. <laughs> you know, these champions aren't really helping. But yeah, this is this is just kind of over. I think what this Heavens Align can do, and I don't think it's anything great. Is <laughs> it GG miss call? Yeah, miss. That was a really nice, really nice time miss call. Uh, the other two cards just don't really do anything. Play a lot of champions. Honor is the rust on a dull blade. Wanna do that? They've got a ghost to the chunk. Not one more family, not one more soul. <laughs> Keep your distance. I dance not to forget, but to remember. The elements bind the living and the dead. By the moon's crescent blade. So we got to play a lot of cool leveled up champions. But GG Darkness. Repeatable, you know, two mana deal five to anything, one mana deal six to anything, fast speed is just too powerful. Okay, so at least they messed up kind of with that. At least kind of. We'll see. Okay, no. They had to they had to block my 4-3 and then you know then I blade surge and then I have the Aurelia kill the Senna. Like we could have maybe done that, but this doesn't matter. The Vagar kills us. Alright, so we have to do some cool stuff, but GG Darkness. Right. See how we do against Timo Swain. Feel the rush gonna go. It's a good troll chant matchup, but I want bodies. Prepared for anything. 
I really want the Lunari Shade Stalker this game. You know, like where we could have the um, the two three elusive. That would have been really nice. Yeah, I mean that's the card I want. Okay. Ours is the one true light. So which one of the, do we take out Bandle Commando or Teemo? Because we're gonna go ahead and play T Diana Quick Attack Challenger. I kind of think we take out the Commando. I don't think I want them to open attack and get a, a free 2-1. Or if we get 5 puff caps, I'd rather get 5 puff caps and then get a 2-1. Not playing this other stuff, leaving Heavens Align this next turn so we can Heavens Align and then Shade Stalker. Welcome to Bandle Scout Camp, recruit. This place smells like mushrooms. Mm. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. So that's number two. This Shade Stalker will be number three. Unseen, unheard, the new moon conceals you from our foes. The power of the immortal sun. Doing a good job leveling up both champions. They're both three out of four. Bask in the light's radiance. Welcome to Bandle Scout Camp, recruits! Place smells like mushrooms. Aloof. <laughs> we have been aloofed. Cloaks, you try to blind me with resplendence. So we don't need to actually pale cascade the Diana because the Diana's gonna level up and turn to a 3-3. So I'm gonna go ahead and pale cascade this Solari soldier to heal it, so it'll be a 2-2 again. Seen that. So we're not doing bad. Vision to see what others can. Ooh. They're all pretty good options. I think I'll take the falling comet. Sunlight side, my brethren. No, those are that bad. Yeah, yep, I'll take the flock on the one drop. This is a cool Leona. I, I can't believe I haven't played the Leona since the back, Battle Academia skin. Leona and Caitlyn, they have cool skins that we haven't uh, used yet. When will this bloody conflict end? All things in cycles. Someday we will be one. Alright, so maybe I shouldn't have played that 2-2. Two, two. I, I played it. Yeah, maybe I should have I should have saved spell mana. Yeah, I should have saved spell mana. Uh, we did get this Crescent Strike though. But I played it, you know, to Um, you know, just invoke again. But so now our my plan's kinda stun stuff, right? So Leona will stun something with this daybreak, and then we'll Crescent Strike stun two more blockers. Me. <laughs> Looks like they're trying to turn on another ravenous flock. That's why you always carry another pair of goggles. If I pill Cascade, we give the Diana Challenger, and the Diana can just kill the Lecturing Yordle with Challenger, but then they get 
to block two things. Or we just stun two, stun two blockers and they only get one blocker. So like they ravenous flock here, they block the four, they take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, they take nine and go to four. It's assuming they have ravenous flock. If they don't have ravenous flock, they lose. But play Crescent Strike. All right, we'll, we'll do that. Hope they don't have a flock. Because I really want to play the Pill Cascade, you know, not, you know, get to draw a card, but then also just kill this Lecturing Yordle. All right, cool. That should be lethal then. Because their best thing they can do is block the five, four, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen. Yeah, no, that'll be thirteen. Cool. No flock. And we're one and one. A full moon casts her light across the land. Mono Sharima, so buried sun disk. Okay. Good invoke hand. So I kinda wanna keep it, because invokes are cool. We got the Solari Soldier for one. I always like Heaven's Align. Like that's a card I'm always happy with. Oh, we're going to do a good job leveling up Leona this game. No, I didn't change anything in Zig Swain. Um, I, I kept it the exact same. Would you like me to change anything in the deck, Dark Fortress? Alright, let's actually just pass. Keep the Troll Chant available. Oh, right, that's a card. That's a really good card. That's a really good card. Hmm. Looking for like obliterate stuff, right? Because you like want to obliterate that buried sun disc. Didn't end up finding any. So the warrior or the golden sister? I just don't take the warrior. I, truly am. I just don't know if like we really need the life steal here. To find, we need to find some obliterates or like a obliterate. Open your eyes. All right, so that's my daybreak card. Um, not enemies with three or less power. Not really that one. That's not like that bad though. I mean, I guess it's better. It's just probably better than the other two cards. I don't really need more one cost things. History is whatever. Hey, wake up, you hammer! Ugh. What did the stars reveal, Mother Moon? I can't find it. Just looking for, you know, six mana obliterate card. I can't find it. So, Zareth, Azir, Renekton. Zareth not leveled up yet. Bask in the sunlight. 
So this obliterates four units right now. Probably just wait on that. Come on. <laughs> Man. Really did not invoke very well. For how, much, how many invokes we had. There are two Robin in the deck, yes. Is this what you see? Defiance is our way. No mercy for heretics. I think I want to clear up some board space for me. Couldn't find an obliterate. 10, 11, 12. So we're gonna have 12 mana next round, right? 9, 10, 11, 12. We were peaceful once. Ugh, I'm attacking for 16? And they're at 17? Raise your weapon, Sunwood! Well, I guess now finding this Lunari Priestess. Could potentially Lunari Priestess and look for, um, again, you know, look for a six mana obliterate. Wow. I can stun that, and then attack for a 16, but that just only puts him down to 1. Alternatively, I can play the Diana... Oh yeah, Diana's still not actually going to be leveled up. I, I would have thought Diana would have been leveled up by now, but no, Diana... No. It's our time. I kind of think that I have to just attack and play Priestess after this and look for Obliterate for the Sun Disk. So I can't kill them this round anyway, either way. Oh yeah, they just took it anyway, so that glad I didn't waste mana on Crescent Strike. Oh, never mind. Because that levels up that, which now the Sun Disk will be leveled up round star. Obliterates anywhere. These cards are all useless. Yeah, these are all useless. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. Quick hands make quick work. We also are playing that one divergent paths in here that we could have drawn. But with all those invokes, not a single obliterate and no divergent paths. Oh, come on, really? Really? Men die, but stand in past and present. With this glory eternal. That's some luck right there. The old divergent paths right after you need it. That's some good luck right there. Alright, so this will at least stun the 10 9 Overwhelm. So they're predicting from the Emperor's deck. They're probably getting some pretty cool stuff. Probably. Gently, gently. <laughs> I'm 
Right now, just an open attack kills them. Killed. Yeah, that kills the weakest enemy. What is this thing? Enemies are vulnerable. Round start rally. Wow. I don't like that. Makes no sense to block that thing over this. Um, I want to have two units leave. It's like 1, 2, 3, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, because I can play all those. That's kind of my plan next round is... You know, this. We'll see if we draw it. A Daybreak card would be nice to draw to be able to stun. Oh, right. I forgot that that thing's going away, too. Each act of heresy is an act of passion. The Solari brought this. Find your path in the dark and follow no. I guess there's no reason not to not to play my one mana spell first, my dust petal dust first before the Dianix, and it's just the exact same amount of mana, but then the Diana would be a 5-3 challenger right now. Like, yeah, there's there's no reason not to play that dust. That was I would still have the same mana. This would just be a 5-3 challenger. That was just a mistake. What I wanted to do is I wanted to because I knew like we'd have to win on the elusives. So like that's a thing, like, even though that's a 5-3 challenger, it doesn't really matter. Cause like we have to win on one of these elusives. So I wanted to have the elusives with the troll chant. That was my thinking. And just a 4-6 is a better a better body to stay alive than a 5-3. Alright, there we go. Getting down with the Cygnus. Daylight everlasting. And elusive win, 2 and 1. Twisted Swain. Twisted Saint. Twisted Swain always pretty good. This will be a matchup for the invokes for sure. I mean, I want to keep that field of rush because this is a good field of rush matchup, but we really shouldn't keep 12 mana card. Hello. Mother Moon Veil. I like this Eclipse Dragon. Eclipse Dragon is pretty cool. They are they're a deck that you know does like a lot of damage and stuff. Like they are, you know, Bilgewater Noxes, like these are damage based regions, and so that's why I kept the Solari Sunforger with the Lifesteal. If only that took the powder keg. Bless the paper and fear the heretics. We assume they're gonna make a rain. Yeah. This powder keg is rough. Forgive me. I mean, if I don't do this, they could twist a fate red card, which is like way worse for me. It's too bad. That was just a. I really messed up everything, right? Like, I'd rather play some Forger, I'd rather play the Diana. Keep up, keep up. Powder keg really messed up. up. Good. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. 
through the coral. Give us a prize for him. Behold my work. Cool. That was a very important block. Her light is our sword, her warmth our armor. Alright, so Swain's leveled up. By the moon's crescent blade. They could have been doing that for the flock, maybe. Empire above all. Or seven. I became a soldier. I will be heard. Uh, I can't really. I, you know, I'd, all I want to do is attack right there, but I really shouldn't attack. Bloom and fade with the morning. Third nightfall for Diana, so Pale Cascade would level up Diana. There's that flock. Only three cards over there. It doesn't. Alright, come on, obliterate. We are the worst at hitting obliterate. I never obliterate. Like, what am I doing with you? Daylight warms the heart I don't know, and I kind of want to take it. Deploy. See, that's why we need the obliterate, obviously. This is only silence it this round. It doesn't like silence it for good. Which I would I would have kept that available if it did. Come, a new phase of devotion to battle. You got legs. Use them. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of thing is I could kind of do those two, but you know, I can't do both of those. Need to be able to go wide. All right, just Daylight this fades time. and find your path in the dark and follow. No we'll never find an obliterate. So this is only silence to enemy units like we can't even you know can't silence like one of my own things to allow it to block I'm just gonna play new Swain I, I should be blocking Leviathan I don't like why would I block Swain here I need to be blocking Leviathan I think he doesn't have overwhelm anymore that's a terrible block by me they could just even just be at seven and then I sunburst Leviathan. Like, what? Now they see who I truly am. They yeah, we were really bad at evoking. Okay, they just had another the Leviathan stars. anyway. I will not abandon my beliefs. Good hand. Oh, I, yes, I am in, incredibly excited about the new PvE mode. Absolutely. Yeah, I can't I can't wait for it. Yeah, that looks that looks so awesome. All right, so first time seeing a Robin. Um Some of these two back. But we're seeing that like we're relying on the invokes to hit removal because that's the only removal we have in the deck. And so if they're not hitting the removal, then we can't you know, like we're just lose to Vagar that just sits there and Swain that just sits there. That's problematic. 
probably where we need. I need some other removal. Because um, even like you know we have one sunburst in the deck, and we even had the sunburst in hand, but both Swain and Leviathan, I, you know, they don't die to sunburst, so we kind of had nothing. <laughs> you know, we couldn't couldn't kill either one. That's a problem. Gotta kill champions. Time to make an appearance. Hey, we finally hit an obliterate now that we don't really need it in this matchup. How about that? It's really not that important in this matchup. You know, we'd rather have the deal four, deal one, for example. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. How about that? We will resist. We actually hit the obliterate. Whatever the cost. We fight for one friend. Our son will not set down. Robin is huge. Robin ma making Solar Priestess is pretty great. A true Fanyorian welcome. Boo. your true heart just whether or not I want to focus on trying to kill the LeBlanc open your eyes must we fight maybe not Unbeliever. so you use that troll chance to try to kill LeBlanc I think that's what we're gonna do instead That was a pretty bad culling strike by them. They just killed my 0-6. They should definitely wait till after combat. Because if they wait till I, like now this 5-5 just dealt no damage. They could like this could just be 14 out of 15 instead of 9 out of 15 if they would just wait till after combat. Like I don't have any mana. That was a very poor use of that card by them. Alright, deal four, deal one. I'll enable I'll let us play Nightfall Diana. Cold and unforgiving as moonlight. Find your path in the dark and follow no false light. Forgive me. I will be heard. Hmm. I wasn't sure if that was exactly worth it. But we're looking really good. They only have two cards, and yeah, I was gonna say like one of them's probably an enraged Yeti. We got this. Sunlight guided my brethren. I hate Oh, that's a real card. So we give him a mirror image? That's not that big a deal. Might be able to obliterate two. Nah. Stars like jewels on the cloak of night. Our banner will lead the way. Is this what you seek? Back heretic. Fear not death. Sisters, silver light. They walk around. I just want more bodies. We're just going to be out grinding them. This journey is 
discovery. Oh, that's a good draw. That's like their best, you know, that's their best draw because they get two cards. Wow. That... <laughs> I mean, it, it was looking good just a little bit ago. You know, I... I did like where we were at. Just one minute ago. Winter, take you. Yeah, this is pretty insane. Victory requires a sharp blade. Wow. That was one card. You know, they had no cards in hand, and then suddenly that one card turned into all that. <laughs> it turned into a 5 4, 4 2, 6 2. Man, that's crazy. Wow, what a crazy turn of events. We, we've been getting some good luck in these games. He said sarcastically. Today we fight as one! You are mine! Talk about your death. Open your eyes. Too alive though. I don't really know why they didn't play that before attacking. They they would have like easily had lethal. They would have just played that before attacking. Both of our champions are gonna be leveled up, but I don't know exactly how that's gonna help. I don't know. They have to block both. What they should be doing is using this mirror image. Okay, or they just make that thing. They, I was gonna say they should they should just mirror image something to just give a free blocker so they don't have to give rid of one of their units. But I guess they just decide to play that instead. That was a game that we were like you know, 90% to win. And that was like one of like the only things that we could, like, probably the only card that we could lose to was Trifarian Assessor, honestly. So they kind of had to just play Trifarian Assessor, and unfortunately they did. Alright, so only two and three in those games, but we we saw like the, you know, we did have a weakness. Um, that last game was, was pretty ridiculous, us losing that, but you know, it happens. But we did have a weakness of just champions sitting out, right? Vagar, Swain, they would sit down just having no removal. And so, because we're a slow deck, right? Like, w I talked about at the very beginning when we were going through the deck tech, talking about the deck, that Leona, Diana, these cards want to control the board and want to play a long game. That's what we're doing here with Targon. And then we, you know, rely on our invokes or maybe Abyss to win the game. But in order to play a long game, there are champions that you have to be able to kill because otherwise they'll sit back and win the game. And that's... Um, you know, Leviathan Swain and Vagar, that kind of stuff. So I would definitely recommend more removal in here. Because you gotta be able to get rid of those kind of things. I think like a card like Lunari Dustbringer, like that could go. Right? Like that was never a card that we really wanted. Um like th this could just be more removal. I know that's a card that helps enable Nightfall, but we we already have these cards that help enable Nightfall, and I, I just don't think that card's very necessary. So there we go. We could get rid of two of those. But the thing is, is besides Sunburst, I don't really know what we're playing that's good against, uh, like, Swain Leviathan, right? Because Sunburst doesn't kill those when they're leveled up. You know, we just needed Obliterates. Um, could could maybe find play something that helps you find... Because um, Hush is just a round, you know, this round. And that was the thing. We could silence for a round. Maybe we find, you know, play another card that can get Equinox for us. Oh, yeah, that's that's what we can do. Right, we're playing Targon. We can just play the... We could play the best card of all time. 
Lobing Telescope. Lobing Telescope can help find Equinox or, you know, ridiculous cool stuff. Um, so yeah, basically let's, let's turn, let's do that. Let's just basically turn those Lunari Dustbringers into Loping Telescopes. I know it costs one additional mana, but just the, the power of that. So that probably means we get rid of the Mountain Goat and maybe, you know, maybe we can just keep the one Sunburst at that point. Um, or maybe two, but let's see. Honestly, I didn't love Troll Chant. Maybe that's like a card, you know, if we're like looking at things to cut to be able to, to like if we want to if we want to play a second sunburst maybe we just go two troll chant two sunburst because that that right there you know like th that's enough for loping telescope by just taking out the two dust bringers and putting and taking out the mountain goat that gives you loping telescopes right there so if we want like one more removal spell if we want a sunburst maybe it'd be over a troll chant that's about the only thing i see or, or maybe even just the field of rush I, I kind of just don't think the Field of Rush is necessary, right? It's probably just overkill because, especially not putting in Loping Telescope, Lo Loping Telescope will get you, you know, it can get you big expensive epics if you want, but these things give you like the, the big invoke cards also. And uh, then you also have the Howling Abyss that makes the, the level two champions. And that's a lot of top end. I don't think you probably need that Field of Rush either. So there we go. Let's, let's get rid of the Field of Rush for a second Sunburst. And then let's just get Loping Telescopes in here. And that's honestly could look pretty good. Like, you know, our deck was close. Um, you know, we won the two games, we were super close to winning that third, and then both those other two against, you know, Darkness and Swain, like, we weren't that far away if we could have, uh, dealt with those. Like, maybe Loping Telescopes make some Equinoxes that deal with Leviathans, and we win that game. Alright, but there we go, that's Leona Diana, pretty good looking deck. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, and feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think. Oh, I guess one last thing, I would definitely want to play a third Robin in here. And over for for that, um, I, I was getting like before we played the deck, I would have said maybe take out a priestess, but actually I really liked those priestesses, and so I wouldn't really do that. I could see taking out a Sunforger. I think. I think you'll probably go two Sunforger, three Robin. I think I'd, I'd rather just go that route because we already have the Tavern Keeper that heals our Nexus, um, and so we're probably good there. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, Robin could maybe create a Sunforger. Let's go. Let's go that route. All right. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it, though, for Leona, Diana. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.